Hi there, it's Miss Catherine. You may notice that I'm on the floor today, and that's because we're going to do some floor exercises, sort of like yoga. We'll be stretching our muscles, our legs and our arms and our body. Stretching is essential to before you work out and after you work out, or also before you dance and after you dance. When I teach a dance class here in my um, hometown where I'm where I live now <laughs> I make sure that I stretch the students properly and I stretch the students afterwards to cool the body down so we're gonna learn some basic stretching techniques and I uh, hope you're ready yeah let's go <laughs> oh one more thing stay tuned at the end of the video where I'm going to show you how to draw a sloth you ever heard of a sloth yeah no well one thing about sloths is that they move really slow. Slower than anything you could think of, but not maybe not as slow as a turtle. They also conserve a lot of energy by moving really slow. So as we're doing these stretches, picture or imagine yourself as a sloth that moves really slow. We're gonna move through each movement slowly. You might recognize some moves from yoga if you've ever done yoga before. And there'll be some other moves that are just basic stretches that you should do anytime before you dance or anytime after you cool down from dancing. Okay, now we're ready to go. Let's hit it. All right, start with your feet in a butterfly position. And bounce your legs if you need to. Take hold of your toes and bring yourself in. Bend your head down for the ultimate stretch in your lower back and neck. We'll hold it for eight counts. Since most dance routines are done in eight counts, we'll hold for eight. Even deeper stretch, you can bring your legs farther out and then farther down. Let's bring our arms up like a ballet move. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Time, but this time drop one arm, You're sort of doing a ballet move, and you're going to lean over. This will stretch the sides of your torso, your oblique muscles. Hold for eight. And bring it back over. Over to the other side. Hold for eight. Let's come out, bringing our legs straight. I know you can't really see me, so I'm gonna to turn to the side. Bring your legs straight out, like that, good. And I want you to point your toes and flex foot. This is what we call the flex foot. This is a pointed foot. So when I say flex, I mean have both your feet straight up, point, flex. This may not seem like it's stretching anything, but it is stretching your shin and your ankles. <laughs> you might even hear your bones pop maybe a little bit. So stretch, pointed, and flex. Good, one more time, point, and flex. Good job. We're gonna turn our head. Did you know a sloth can almost pretty much turn its head all the way around? Not completely, not quite like an owl, but they can turn their head pretty far. We're not gonna try to turn our head like a sloth. We're gonna just go as far as we can go, which is to the side. This helps stretch your neck muscles. Back forward to the other side.
forward again. Now we're going to go down. And back. And forward. Now all around, we're gonna roll our neck. Very good stretch. And the other way. Good stretch for our neck. For when we're turning. Whew. Use the gotta be loud there. All right, let's take our hand and pull it over this side. We're still stretching our neck. And our other hand. Good. Arms up. I'm going to bend one down and I'm going to pull my elbow. Pulling it in so you can feel the stretch right here. And the other way, the other side. That was just a gentle stretch. You can also use it as a cool down. A stretch to warm up your muscles and get ready to move or to cool down. And there's many more to do, but for the sake of time and because you can't see all the moves I'm doing in my camera here today, I'm gonna stop there and we're gonna get ready to do our sloth drawing. So grab a pencil and some paper, come right back, okay? Pause me if you need to while you're getting your supplies. All right, first for our sloth drawing, we're going to make an oval, but not a huge oval. This is going to be the shape of the sloth's head. In the middle, we're going to make another oval. This will be the sloth's nose. It's okay if your oval or your circle isn't perfect. Mine isn't perfect, and that's okay. We're not perfect people and it's okay. The next part we're going to do is we're going to sort of make a Batman symbol or maybe like you ever drawn birds and you just kind of dip it so it looks like a very wide M. That's the sloth's hairline. Next we're going to do some eyes. So just color those in on either side of the nose. From the M, we're going to make a weird little shape. I don't even know what shape to call it, but it's going to be up towards the M, around the eyes, and then down. This is this part of the sloth, how it looks. You can give the sloth a little smiley face there if you want. They often look like they're smiling anyway, if you've ever seen a picture of a sloth. So I'm going to make some marks right here in the middle of this little ghost shape that I made on the sloth's face. From here, I'm going to make a curvy line. And I'm going to do it again right here. Another curvy line. On the outside of this curvy line, I'm going to make a line. And then I'm going to put an oval on top of the line, but at the end, at the end of where I stopped at the line. I'm going to do the same thing on this side I make a line and an oval on top of the line. I know you're like, this is a weird looking sloth. I hear you. We got to finish it. So I'm going to make a line on the inside of the curves and then I'm going to curve it around to make some arms. Do the same thing over here, curve it around to make some arms. Now I'm gonna give the sloth a big old belly that hangs below his arms. And I'm gonna curve that line up here because this is part of his tummy or her tummy. You can make it a girl if you want. I'm gonna finish the feet by making a V right here and going up. Making a V and going up. So now I have the little sloth's legs. Now sloths also have toenails. Sometimes it's a two-toed sloth, 
sometimes it's a one to it's a three toe sloth i'm going to do two toes by making one big sharp triangle and putting a line through it and that means he has two toes so he's a two toed sloth or she's a two toed sloth they also have the same thing on their fingers so i'm going to make a big long nail like a triangle and put some lines through it on their feet and make some little lines on their feet they have little folds on the inside of the feet all i did was made a, a smile face and a frown face so like a smile and a frown right on top of each other and then that is our sloth if you want your sloth to be a girl you can give it a little some eyelashes i don't know if sloths have eyelashes for real i've never really been close to them color it in I don't have my crayons next to me, but I'm just going to color in this little part of the, the sloth head. Maybe like make it look like it has some hair. And I think I might put a bow on top of my, make it like sort of cartoonish, you know? I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, so my sloth's got some colorful hair and she's got a little bow. And there's my sloth. Sloth starts with an S and L O T H. And together, S and L is a blend, so it makes a sl, sl sound. You kind of have to put your tongue between your teeth and make the sl, sl sound. All right, and there's my little sloth. She's perfectly imperfect, but I love her. All right. I hope you had fun learning how to stretch and move like a sloth. We did it to some Disney music and drawing a picture of our sloth. All right. Have a great day. See you soon. Bye.